Remember, Apple sucks, and that's it. All right, hey guys, this is Austin with Rigidies Productions, and we have two more launchers up for review today. We have Apex Launcher and Nova Launcher. Both are from uh, two different companies, but we'll introduce those later when we're doing the reviews. But uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, so uh, the first one we're going to start with is the Apex Launcher right up here. And just a little back background info, it gets four and a half stars on the Android Play Store, and it's by Android Does in all caps. Google Plus uh, downloads was 71,831 so far as of yesterday. And it is just basically your stock experience when you first download. Now, there are themes for both of these apps, but the point of the video is just to show you, like, say you have a Galaxy or something you want stock, then these give you the stock experience of Android. Um, without all the overcrowded crap that nobody ever really uses. And so basically, uh, where we'll start is I guess we'll just start in the overall layout. And uh, you'll notice that you get this center button, which goes to your apps, and they slide to the side. And the animation for it actually is stock animation too. If you look at this compared to others, it won't look like that when, it's, when you slide the screen. Uh, it'll give you all of the Google apps you currently have downloaded and the Play Store. And then you have two functions that come with this launcher specifically as the Apex menu and the Apex settings. So you guys can see that right there. And they both do different things, but also another thing is uh, as far as these phones go, this is a Galaxy S3, as you can see right there on the back. And I have the T-Mobile version, not that that's really of importance, but uh, just FYI. And then uh, basically you can press your menu button on these Galaxies, and this will definitely change kind of the layout of how that's going to look right there, which I also think is the, it's the Apex menu. It also comes up in that. And so that's basically what you'll get there, and then your Apex settings, which is a little bit different, but you can change a lot of the functionality of how this launcher runs by clicking that, such as uh, you can put more apps side to side or up and down. Um, some of those you can add in your widgets. It basically works all the same as a stock Android launcher there's not really any issues uh, overall with the launcher and that's basically the functionality of this just as regular with no themes okay guys the next one we have is Nova launcher and that would be right up here in the corner the red and blue one and this one just so everybody knows got a four and a half stars on the Google Play Store and is by Tesla Coil Software that one's also in all caps uh, Google Plus got 133,883,100 uh, downloads for Google Plus users and this is the same thing, it is just a stock launcher. And this one also, you can theme it, but this one comes just stock. So when you download it and click right in, this one comes with a little bit more up on the screen with, as you'll notice, some different animations. Now when you slide, it'll do the same thing, but if you go back just a little ways in the video and look at the other launcher, you'll notice you weren't, be able, you weren't able to switch from apps and widgets. This one actually does let you. And this keeps all the same widgets that your phone comes with, so everything is still able to put in with your stock Android experience. And then it kind of just gives you some little bit of info, uh, importing things from other launchers, your themes. You get the same Google folder, and this gives you all the Google apps you currently own. You're going to get your camera and web browser of your choice, contacts, phone, and I think on the other launcher that was actually switched around, but uh, as you can see it lays it out just like that. You're going to get the same Google search bar, which is a stock Android feature um, that you'll notice on most phones. And you can slide, and you'll get a few things. This does not loop. It does end, as you can see. But it does the same thing where it turns kind of like a box. And this is pretty much the explanation in this one. Uh, most people prefer this. As I said, this one got um, a good number of thousands more downloads than the other one did. And it runs really smooth on uh, higher-end devices. Like we said, this is a Galaxy S3, so everything on here is running really smooth. Everything functions perfectly. Uh, when I tested this, this even uh, even added your widgets and your other apps and stuff. Everything opens perfect, closes perfect. I didn't notice any difference in battery, battery life performance, and that would technically go for both launchers because both of them ran just the exact same, and pretty much that's explained with this launcher. Okay, guys, the last little part of this is this is going to cover both launchers, but... Uh, this is the suspected problems that you might get with these launchers, and we'll start with the Apex launcher first. So far I didn't find any problem, but I did notice that the only minor, minor thing you would get is with your wallpaper. Sometimes if you have a smaller wallpaper on your phone, now luckily the one we've been using is a Galaxy S3 stock wallpaper, so it ended up running just fine, but 
You'll notice if you have a custom one, sometimes it will cut off. The easy problem to fix that would be zooming in on the wallpaper and setting that on your normal screen and then clicking Apex and then it will fix that so it's not distorted and doesn't cut off at all. Uh, next would be the Nova Launcher and the only suspected problem, now this was a suspected problem on the Google Play Store and I didn't have this issue personally but it was suspected to have battery drain and when I had used this I had tested this for a good number of hours on a full charge and I didn't notice any further drain than I had with just using my normal default screen so really that's all you'll get not anything big to worry about just very minor and like I said the Nova might not even have that battery drain like I said I didn't notice anything with that so that's pretty much it with the problems okay so we have the Samsung Admire here and this is a pretty old phone and it's running 2.3.4 and this one is a software issue because it would not even I couldn't even find it in the Play Store and so you can't find it, download it, or use it. So that covers old phones. They're not going to be compatible with it. Next we have the Galaxy Discover. And this one downloaded both and will run both. And this is 4.1.2. And so yeah, this will run it and download both. And it, they'll run pretty smoothly. This one's a little bit of a slower phone, but not by much. So you, won't, you shouldn't have too many complications with uh, that software version. Next we have the Moto G, which is 4.4.2, and this one will download them both, run them both. Um, this was running uh, a little bit higher than our S3 was, so of course it's going to run them and download them, and they work really smoothly on it, so no issues there. Uh, now my phone, which is the Galaxy Mega, the beast of a phone, I actually didn't download them on here, but I did yesterday, and I know that they will run on here and they are fully functional. Now, the reason we didn't do the review with this phone specifically is because I just wanted everybody to know that with a screen this big, it was, I believe, the Nova Launcher that had some distortion with it. And so, just so you guys are all aware, Nova on bigger screens has distortion. It'll make everything smaller, so it's probably not an advisory to use. Definite fan favorite of every video is our POS tablet. This thing doesn't run to save a life. And uh, this one, <laughs> we had uh, some trouble getting Nova on there. It wouldn't even download. It does find it, but it wouldn't download it. So that would be a hardware issue. So not to say that it won't, but this tablet wouldn't do it. It did, however, do Apex, but it ran super slow. And uh, this, whole, this whole tablet runs slow. It barely, barely works with anything, actually. So it's not in your best interest to even try it if you have one of these. But... That's pretty much it. That's the different software versions that will and won't run it. Uh, devices from different areas that will and won't. Okay guys, once again, this is Austin with Rickety's Productions and thanks for watching our video on our uh, Apex and Nova Launcher. If you liked that, you can like that, comment, and subscribe. Uh, subscribing will keep you updated with all of our most recent videos and we'd love to hear in the comments anything we could have done better, video tips since we're just starting, or uh, just what your favorite launcher is. Anything helps us, builds our fan support and helps our confidence out, so don't forget that. And then uh, we'll put more up soon. Hopefully we get out one video a week or so. We'll see just how much we can do, and we'll catch you later.